so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys for today's vlog i would like to share how to take performance on generator engine model man stx 6l23 slash 30h in this situation guys i'm taking performance at a load of 50 percent at about 675 kilowatt of the generator with the efficiency power factor 95.1 so here are the steps guys in taking performance of generator first we must ensure that the engine is at constant load the the load should not varies throughout the performance of the generator so as you can see in the video guys just open the indicator cock and blow through shortly then connect the maximum pressure indicator to the indicator valve and open the valve then after three to five seconds read the maximum pressure at the gauge as precaution guys the indicator valve has to be opened while reading the maximum pressure in the gauge the measuring period should not exceed 30 seconds then the fourth step is to close the indicator valve and open the valve screw then disconnect the maximum pressure indicator and close the valve screw then measure the remaining cylinders with that same procedures so the purpose of this is to know the actual performance of our engine guys at a certain load the frequency of this maintenance is every month or at monthly basis so i'm using the leotard pressure indicator as you can see guys how i operate this kind of instrument just open the valve as you can see the rising of the pressure then not more than 30 seconds of this you should close the valve and release from the screw valve before detaching the pressure indicator from the indicator valve as you can see guys before you unscrew be sure that the pressure has been released totally so why we have to blow through before installing the pressure indicator in the indicator valve so the purpose of this is to remove the unwanted particles that may damage to our pressure indicator and it will give the accurate reading once the indicator valve is free from any particles or dirty it will give accurate reading to our indicator so when taking performance guys it is very important to record all the parameters and if there is any abnormalities or any faults during the performance it must be recorded and rectified accordingly so the basis that our engine is performing well is that we can compare the actual performance what we have taken to the performance that is recorded from the ship's delivery or from the test bed of the engine or from the shop trial from there we can compare our actual performance to that record so that is the basis when we are taking performance and following by our own observation that we can judge that our engine is performing well or not as you can see guys i am at the unit number five i just followed the same procedure as what i did from unit one to number four so just like that guys just open the screw valve slowly to release the pressure before unscrewing the instrument or the pressure indicator so that's it guys the reading should be done at two, 3 to 5 seconds that is the instruction of this maximum indicator 
so right now I am taking the fuel rack of the fu fuel pump the reading of the fuel rack as you can see there is there is a punch mark in the fuel rack how much is the reading right now I am taking the governor index I am taking the parameters from local side and record it carefully all the parameters has to be recorded and keep it as a, a reference for the next performance now I am taking the exhaust gas temperatures in all cylinders and the turbocharger inlet and outlet temperatures and I'm taking the RPM of the turbocharger then at this point I'm taking the temperature of the loop oil inlet to the engine as you can see I'm using the infrared to take the temperature and this is the fresh water inlet temperature the cooling system and this is the outlet of the thermostatic valve and you have to record everything the air cooler inlet temperature I'm checking and the scavenging temperature and at this point I'm checking the crankcase temperature so until here guys I hope you learned something from this video guys and if you are interested in this kind of topic all about marine engineering please don't forget to hit me the like share and subscribe this is JB23 vlog bye bye <laughs>